Welcome to New York Comic Con, everyone. We're here enjoying this amazing view of the crowds with cosplayer Kenneth Pingad. Kenneth, it's so nice to meet you. Oh, it's good to be here. And uh, Kenneth, I'm sure that we all know, but do you want to just tell us anyways who you're cosplaying as? Oh, it's, it's -a me. It's Mario. Great. Um, Kenneth, why don't you tell me how you got started cosplaying? Yeah, I've been going to anime conventions since 2005. And my first masquerade I saw, and I could see that there was so much energy in the crowd, and people were bringing on these, these performances that are only two minutes or three minutes long, but they're like, they touch the people in a certain way. It's like speaking another language. It's, it's the magic of performance. And I thought, I want to do that too. And then in 2008, I did my first skit, and it just kind of burrow rolled from here. I met more people that way in the masquerades, and they're like, oh, you should come over to Archon over here. And I was like, okay. And then I got invited to come out to New York. That's awesome. When you got started, did you know how to sew, or was it kind of a learning process? It's, it's more like a learning process as you go along. I can't, I'll be honest, I'll be the first one to admit I cannot sew for the life of me. But as you meet people, you network with people and work with them and be like, hey, could you make this costume for me? Or do you know where I can find pieces of my costume for cheap? Like, right. this, this is all purchased. This is 30% off at JCPenney. This is $5 off of eBay, mustache the gloves. Costume right. shop, $5 off of um, uh, Salvation Army. And this, I got as a gift. <laughs> Bumblebee. I don't care about your car. What are you going to do about my bike? Do you see these wings? I've got places to go and the Comic-Con to win. What are you going to do about my bike? Listen, pal, I survived a tornado, a hurricane, flooding, and an earthquake. So don't think that I'm going to let some stupid bike stop me and Bumblebee. For the last time, I don't care about your damn car. You can't fight on stage. Why not? It's against the masquerade rules to have a fight on stage with a giant robot. <laughs> now what are we supposed to do? Cosplay past because I know that you've won a few awards. You want to tell us about those? 
Um, I've been uh, performing since 2008, and from in the span of three years, I've won probably between 10 to 15 awards based on just performances, and that make me like a master's class division. And we mostly just do funny stuff, just anything and everything that we think we feel that would not only entertain the crowd, but something that we believe they deserve to be entertained because that's what they come to expect. So we try to come up with something that'll push the envelope or do something different or do a parody of something that's already existing and people just love it. Wow, and can you tell me about any specific awards you've won at New York Comic Con? There, 2009, I did Death Note, uh, L's Day Off, where I got invited by my friends last minute, and they're like, hey, you want to come along? And I'm just like, boss, uh, I'm not coming into work this weekend. <laughs> and then I realized I don't have a performance to submit. So I opened up my notes, see what kind of solo performance I can do, and it was the Death Note with the Ice Cream Sunday. So I submitted that, totally expecting to get shot down. Because yeah. you wouldn't think you would be allowed on stage with people who are wearing fancy costumes and you have ice cream that could stain. Right. But no, they threw me a bone. I don't know if it was chance or the cosplay gods just threw me a bone. Yep. But I got, I got accepted. I went on stage. I made my ice cream sundae. I dunked my face in it at the end. I got... Uh, standing ovation, everyone loved it, and I was like, yes! Very cool, now I know that you're in a cosplay group. Do you want to tell me a little bit about that? Our group's name is Godly Team Cosplay. Uh, most of my members, they're mostly in the Midwest. It's me and another person who really have like the financial standing to travel out to other cons and perform. Yeah. And we've been doing this in 2008. We just basically, we choose out which costumes we want to do this year, or it's like, hey, do you want to do High School of the Dead this year? Or do you want to do that for next year? It's basically, we just brainstorm, we take notes on what we really liked, what we didn't, and then we just act on it. Nice. And so I guess, last but not least, do you have any plans for the future involving cosplay? Any cosplay dreams or goals? All right. Young and naive dream was that if I do skits and masquerades that this would be my my gateway into being a voiceover and being all convention famous. Well, still not a voiceover, but I'm a little bit more humbled in the fact that just doing these simple three minute performances has led to meeting a whole bunch of new awesome people and not only awesome but the fact that they're more than willing to give you a lending hand. I mean, I'm crashing at people's places here in New York, yeah. and they said that I don't have to pay a thing, I don't have to do this, I don't have to do that, and I'm like so indebted to these people. It's, it's like camaraderie, it's like cosplay brotherhood. It's so good. All right. Well, thank you so much, Kenneth. It was fantastic to meet you. Oh, grazie, grazie. I hope you have a fantastic convention. I hope so too. Thanks.